Well, that's a tough question. Language is hard to define in a bunch of ways because there are so many uses of the word. You know, people talk about different languages. They mean, you know, Japanese or Hindi or English. Um, and also people talk about, you know, the language of bees or, you know, body language. And they use all of these terms that that are not the same as, as you know, what it means to say that English is a language. And, and so the normal use of the word mixes up something very uh, specific that is the system that humans use to communicate with some sort of general idea of, of, of any communicative system. Uh, but I think what you're asking is what defines human language. And I think that there are what, um, Charles Hockett once called unique design features of language, and they include things like uh, the possibility to make reference, uh, the possibility to displace reference, so that is to refer to things that are at a different place and time. Uh, so other animal communication systems can refer to things right here, right now, but they don't, uh, they're not able to refer to what happened yesterday or what would happen tomorrow. Uh, so those are a couple of the example features that would help to understand what's unique about language. Another unique feature of language is that language can be used to refer to itself. So you can use the communicative system to talk about the communicative system and you can ask things like, what did you mean? Or, you know, what did he say? You can quote other people's speech. 